Though it may be cheaper and easier to just take something once a week, some people would rather get in the habit of doing something daily, so they don't forget. So how much vitamin B12 would you have to take if you wanted to do it once a day rather than once a week? Well, using the formula we just learned, 1.5 plus 0.1 times the quantity x minus 1.5 equals 4 to 7, solve for x. I'll wait. Once a day, 250 micrograms or more is all we need. You can put it next to your toothbrush to remind yourself. The reason we can't absorb more than about 1.5 at a time directly through our receptors is that they get filled up. But it only takes them about 4 to 6 hours to unload their cargo into the body, and then they're back in business. So if we got B12 three times a day, like breakfast, lunch, and dinner, right, we could absorb 1.5 each time and end up with 4.5 at the end of the day, which is all we need. And those kind of doses we can get from fortified foods. The so-called daily value on Nutrition Facts labels for B12 is 6 micrograms. So as long as each serving contains 25% uh, of our daily value, then we can eat a serving of B12 fortified foods at every meal, and we wouldn't have to take supplements at all. So for example, there's a vitamin B12 fortified nutritional yeast. Two teaspoons counts as a serving, so you could sprinkle that on your meals, but that would cost a few dollars a week, as opposed to just a few pennies a week for B12 supplements. Whichever path you choose, these are not just recommendations for people eating plant-based diets, they're for anyone who wants to get a cholesterol-free source of vitamin B12.